Welcome back to another one of my live streaming video tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to use Snap Camera in order to help improve engagement in your live streams. Well, what we'll do is we'll switch off the rest of this for potato cam. Oh no! What happened? This is not right! <laughs> what happened? Now Snap Camera is a program that was developed by Snapchat to bring the fun filters from their app onto the PC using your webcam. When we first used it, she was kind of like, oh, oh my god, my face, oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> For the purpose of this video, I stream on Twitch, so I'm going to show you how to use their channel point system in order to help increase that engagement. Now, channel points is a rewards-based system where viewers can earn them by simply watching your stream, participating in raids, cheering bits, subscribing, all that good stuff and they can redeem it for rewards of your choosing. Again, in this instance, we're gonna use Snap Camera so they can have a fun filter appear on screen of your choice. Squidward cams hotter to be on. Oh no, now we got Squidward again. Oh no, it's Potato, just kidding. <laughs> well, you got that two seconds of horror. There we go, another cam. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to snapcamera.snapchat.com hit that yellow download button. You're gonna have to agree to a privacy policy. You don't have to enter your email, but you do have to click the checkbox and then you can choose to download for PC or for Mac. Now this is the fun part. Once you get to the app, you'll get to go through all of the different filters. You will notice that there is a star on the top left of each of the individual filters. If you click on that, it'll save it to your favorites and you can access a list of all your favorites on the top left of your program. You'll see like a bright yellow star. Now for some reason, in order to set the hotkeys, they need to be number keys. Now if your keyboard's like mine and it doesn't have a numpad, unfortunately, there are numpad emulators out there that you can download. Um, I will put a link below so that you can find that, but it basically looks just like this. What you're going to do for this is basically in order to set the hotkey, you're going to click on the hotkey button. For this one, we're going to use as numkey1, for example. You're going to use the emulator, click numkey1, and then save, and bam, now you've got a hotkey set up. Now, in order to make this for an even more seamless experience for your channel points, what you're going to want to do is, if you have an Elgato Stream Deck, this is going to save you a lot of time. Basically, you're going to drag hotkey under system. Um, we're going to name it the same as the Snapchat filter, just in case for some reason they all disappear. And then we're going to assign it to the hotkey. So you're going to use the numpad emulator again to hit one. So now it's linked not only to Snap Camera, but also to your Elgato. So now, in theory, at the push of a button, you've got that camera. Boom. And you can turn it off. Boom. Boom. Now the easy part is just going to be assigning the channel points to your snap camera filters. So in order to do that, you're going to go to your own channels page. You're going to hit the channel points button on the bottom and chat. Hit the three dots, manage rewards, and it's going to take you to this page. Hit manage rewards again, and it is here that you can add the different cams. So I like to go a step further and I'll go to Google and find a transparent image of kind of a descriptor for the camera and I'll upload it that way but we'll use my potato cam as an example so I've set the reward name to potato cam the description is turn me into a potato for five minutes and um, here's the transparent images that I took off of Google you can customize the background color to be whatever you want as well as customize the number of points that one needs in order to redeem it so easy peasy, right? Now when they redeem a channel point, let's say for Thug Life, you hit a button on the stream deck, and bam, now we're just straight thugging it. If you want to take it a step further, I even add a timer because I'm really bad at keeping track of how long the camera's been on for, and I don't like to do it on my phone because it just takes too much time and people don't like you looking at your phone. All you have to do is go underneath uh, the Stream Deck options, go to Timer, drag that over, and then you can set it to pretty much any duration that you'd like. 
Hey guys, there's one thing that I did forget to mention, hence Pajama Adam. You want to make sure that you change your webcam settings like white balance, zoom, all that before you launch Snap Camera because Snap Camera doesn't have any settings of its own to change those sorts of things. So you want to make sure with your current webcam already running, you go to properties, configure video, and then you want to do all of your changing of white balance, zoom, whatever here. Once you have that, you're going to want to deactivate that web camera. We're going to launch Snap Camera now. And then we're going to go back into your broadcasting software, properties, select Snap Camera, and then activate. And now all of the settings that you applied using your actual webcam should be brought over to this. So I hope this video helped some of you out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Check out any of my other live streaming related videos, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!